Hi everybody, my name is Stephanie Lou Youngseth and I'm in my bathroom here at my home in Los Angeles. Today I'm going to share with you my top clean and natural skincare products for managing acne prone skin. I am a very big clean beauty advocate because I think that being conscious of what you're putting onto your skin is just as important as what you're putting into your body. So if you're eating clean organic food and then still putting chemicals onto your skin, there's just a disconnect there. I'm very conscious of the ingredients on the back label of every product. I cross check the ingredients against the uh, EWG, the Environmental Working Group's Skin Deep Cosmetic Database, where they rate all of the ingredients synthetic and natural on a scale of 1 to 10 on its toxicity and harm to our body. I have been managing my hormonal acne all of my life. I had very bad skin when I was a teenager. Um, I had great skin when I was pregnant with my son. I think my skin was at its very best, like talk about pregnancy glow. It was amazing. But then just about a year after my son was born, my skin instantly freaked out, broke out all over. Like I know that hormonal acne is a common cause of acne for a lot of people, but there are different triggers like stress, bacteria, lack of sleep, uh, diet is a big one. So it's important to discern what is your cause of acne to best manage it, but there are definitely key ingredients and habits um, that will help tame acne overall. Um, I'm gonna be talking through some of these key acne clearing ingredients through my skincare regimen. So first, I cleanse my skin day and night. It is a must and you just have to be so disciplined about it. Um, acne pro skin produces more sebum than usual so that mixed with makeup overnight is just a really nasty recipe i love this ranavat luminous ceremony cream cleanser it is super high in antioxidants vitamin c it has a superfood called manjista and it's just amazing so this really leaves your skin super soft and balanced just want to show you it looks like like ganache to me and i love that you can see just like it's just really creamy it feels amazing and i just simply wash it off with a muslin cloth for a little bit of exfoliation as well a misconception uh, about acne prone skin is that you need to have squeaky clean skin when you're cleansing but that just strips your skin of its natural oil barrier and then it triggers more sebum production. So the key is to keep your skin balanced and hydrated. I consider this next step to be the most important step in my regimen because if I forget it, if I forget to do it, then I can really see a difference in my skin in the long term. Um, but this is where I do a quick two to three minute mask after I cleanse my skin. So for the quick mask, I do either a clay mask or an exfoliating mask. So when I do a clay mask, I use pink clay, which I buy in bulk from an herbal ingredient store online. And it's so cost effective. I just put it in this jar that I repurposed but here's the pink clay and pink clay is the most gentle of all the clays you have like green white red and so this is very gentle for sensitive skin it's mildly exfoliating and pulling so this is something that you can definitely use like every day so i just um mix it with a few drops of water i just drop a few drops like this and then what i do is i just mix it right in my palm because then i'll just take this and like put it on my skin all over just a very thin layer so that it'll dry quickly and you'll just leave it on for like three minutes or so this pink clay acts like a toner it refines the skin and tightens pores so when i take it off my skin just feels so soft and even toned and a little bit tight in a good way. But about three times a week, I use a lactic acid exfoliating mask. Lactic acid is also the gentlest of all the alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids. So it is something that is great for sensitive skin, for acne prone skin. It is also very hydrating as an acid, so you're not going to feel super dry or peely at all with this. 
I love the True Botanicals Resurfacing Moisture Mask. Honestly, smells and tastes. I've only ever tasted it because a little bit has gotten onto my lips, but True Botanicals uses all natural ingredients. So it just, this one has a little bit of tang because of the enzymes and lactic acid. Um, this is also something that you do really quickly because lactic acid, you don't want to leave on your skin for a long time. Just again, like two, three minutes, five if you have it. Um, but you just do a thin layer and then you'll feel a slight little tingle but I love that because I just know that the product is working. Helping your acne prone skin exfoliate is really important and that's why I use lactic acid. You can use any chemical exfoliant. There's lactic acid, glycolic acid, and salicylic acid. Um, but the lactic acid again is the most gentle and most hydrating so I love that specifically for me. The lactic acid will increase your cell turnover, it'll get rid of dead skin cells. You don't want any of that piling up. And it'll also help to reduce any scarring or hyperpigmentation that you do have from acne. So I always like to multitask. So when I do have this quick mask on, this is when I brush my teeth, floss, do a little mouthwash. And when I'm done with that, that's when I take off the mask. So next, after the mask, I put on a toner. And this is where I think the ingredients really matter because your pores are so clean and the product will really sink in. So I want something super hydrating and I want acne fighting ingredients like vitamin C, probiotics, um, and also a little bit of exfoliation, a little bit of lactic acid or enzymes uh, working in it. And I have two favorite products I'm going to talk about. Firstly, is January Labs, the Daily Brightening Tonic. I love the January Labs brand because all of the products they make are super clean and gentle, very mild. So whenever I have um, a big skin breakout, freak out, maybe even if I have like an allergic reaction, I will stick to just January Labs products uh, when I want to do like a hard reset for my skin. Anyways, this uh, daily brightening tonic is really nice. It has hydrating ingredients like aloe, glycerin, um, sodium PCA, and it also has witch hazel and lactic acid. Witch hazel is really good. It's it's almost like a um, a what do you call it? like an antiseptic or antibacterial. So it works to like really uh, clean your pores and make sure that there's no bacteria on your skin. I don't like to use cotton pads. Um, I like to actually just use my hands when I arrive toner. I feel like it's just because I don't like waste and I like to, uh, you know, be eco-friendly and not use disposable cotton rounds. So I just pour a little bit into my palm, quickly rub it and then pat, 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 pat and press onto my skin. Okay, so the second product I have to rave about is the Vintner's Daughter Active Treatment Essence. This is a toner or an essence, and um, I am just such an admirer of the Vintner's Daughter brand because their products, which are only two, this is one of two, are made with the highest quality of ingredients, and there is just so much passion and science behind the brand. So the owner of Vintner's Daughter, April was the one who actually taught me that it is so important to have both a toner and a facial oil in your regimen. And this is because the key vital nutrients that your skin needs are either water soluble or oil soluble. So a toner like this active treatment essence has key water soluble nutrients like hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. And that is the best way for these nutrients to get into your skin. This one also has a bunch of superfoods, vitamins and probiotics, and everything is natural plant-based and amazing, amazing quality. Oh, smells so good. It has like, it has kind of like a fermented earthy smell, but I love that. So this, I also, I mean, you just pat and press into the skin. You wanna like press the product into your pores, make sure your skin drinks it up all over neck and decolletage. So after the toner, I put on a facial oil as my moisturizer. And this is the last step of my skincare regimen before I put on SPF and makeup. Uh, some might say that using a facial oil is not good for someone with oily skin, but 
Uh, it's totally the opposite. It actually helps to balance out your oil and sebum production. So you will get less shiny throughout the day. And the facial oil, again, is also a better carrier for the oil-soluble nutrients that our acne-prone skin needs rather than a lotion or a cream. When you have acne-prone skin, ingredients that are anti-inflammatory are going to be your best friend. And these are your omega-3 fatty acids like grapeseed, evening primrose, rosehip, and um, omega-3 fatty acids when ingested actually help to balance out your hormones. So it really is an essential nutrient in fighting acne. So my holy grail facial oil is Vintner's Daughter Active Botanical Serum. This is truly a treat for your skin, no matter how good or problematic your skin is. It has all of the omega-3s and a bunch of other botanical ingredients that are super nourishing for your skin. Um, they help repair hyperpigmentation and it just allows your skin to live its most glowy life. I just release about five to six drops into my palms. I want to activate it by warming it up in between my palms just a bit and then I'm going to press, just press it in to my skin. Then I like to just relax and massage my face for at least one minute every day, every time I do my skincare regimen. It just helps to release tension and increase circulation to my face. And it just leaves like the best glow at the end of it. So with acne prone skin, you have your daily skincare regimen and then your weekly skincare regimen. And your weekly skincare regimen is where you do treatments um, like a mask. And I do a mask about three times a week, at least 30 minutes a day. Whenever I find time, which is usually at night after my son has gone to bed. And my favorite one is May Lindstrom's The Problem Solver Mask. It is an intensely purifying and healing mask. It's great for acne prone skin and sensitive skin. The blend has cayenne pepper in it and that's what will cause a warm tingling sensation at first but this is so good because it just like brings blood circulation and oxygen to your face and that allows your skin to just thrive and and give it the capability to regenerate um regenerate on its own as soon as i take it off my skin is just so baby soft with zero texture my pores are so tiny it's a bit of an investment for a mask product, but you get so much in this bottle. It is such a cool product. I actually want to show you how it looks when I prepare the mask. So I've got the water and the mask. So this is a powder to mousse kind of mask. It turns into like this foamy mousse and you can kind of hear it bubbling, I think. Every time I have a breakout, I always put this on immediately and when I take it off, I can see that the redness has gone away, the bumps are just a little bit smaller, um, so it really, really works. I love it. So that's it, guys. I go through this skincare regimen day and night, religiously, no matter how tired I am in the evenings or how little time I have in the mornings. I do hope that these products and tips have helped you or will help you along your skincare journey. And whenever you want to talk skincare, beauty, makeup, especially if you are new to the clean and natural beauty world, I am here for you. I love talking this stuff, so please feel free to reach out. Thank you all for watching.